friends, my dear masters, my dear guards, welcome to the today's session. Friends, today we are going to discuss in detail about the six principles of spiritual science, my dear friends. So we are discussing about spiritual science, meditation and its benefits, Adhyatma Shastra, Atma Gnana Shastra. We have been studying, we have been discussing for all the classes. Right from the day one, we have been studying more, more and more and more about the spiritual science, my dear friends. The spiritual, spiritual science is going to give you everything about the life. Many of the questions in our, in our life will be answered by spiritual science, my dear friends. There, is, there are many sciences, material science, are the physical science, chemistry. If you study the physical science, you'll, you'll be able to understand about light, sound, many other things you'll be able to understand. If you study the chemical science, you'll be able to understand what are the chemical reactions, what are the chemical elements. You'll try to understand about all that. Similarly, my dear friends, if you want to understand the life, the meaning of life, what, what is the death? What is death after life? Understanding about the reasons for suffering. How to come up with the suffering? What is moksha? What is the liberation? Likewise, many of the answers you get in your life through only spiritual science, my dear friends. Spiritual science is a jivana shastra. It means for your entire life, it is going to guide you. It is going to mentor you, my dear friends. Hence, we must study, everybody must study the spiritual science from the childhood, my dear friends. Adhyatmika Shastra. There are many, many sciences available. Everybody is, science, everybody is studying materialistic sciences. Prapanchika, Prapanchika Gnana, all the material sciences, everybody is studying today. Still, we have a lot of suffering in the society, a lot of suffering in the world. The reason being, there is no teaching, there is no education regarding your self, regarding your soul. If you want to become happy, if you want to be in Ananda state, state of Ananda, you need to understand the soul, understand the soul, understand the self-consciousness. What is the consciousness? You need to understand, my dear friends. Then only you will be happy. You will be eternally, eternally happy. Everybody, there are many, many rich people. They have all the things with them. Whatever they wanted, whatever they need in the materialistic life, everything they have, all the possessions, all the possessions, whatever they wanted, they have possessed, but still they are unhappy. They are also suffering. Since they don't know the truth, they are living with the non-truth, my dear friends. So, so to make us to make us eternally happy, eternally joyful, and we need to approach the truth, we need to search for the truth. That is the greatest thing which will give or which will make you eternally happy, my dear friends. Only the truth gives you the simplicity, humbleness, happiness, non-suffering, detachment, moksha, liberation. All these things are provided by, by knowing the truth my dear friends. Hence today, we try to understand the deeper perspective using six principles of spiritual science, my dear friends. We will try to take one by one all the principles. We will try to understand it. The first law of spiritual science, which is law of consciousness, law of self, law of Atman, Atma Siddhanta, so let's understand this. What is law of spiritual science? The law of consciousness. The law of consciousness. That's the first first law of the spiritual science. What it says: 
we all understood that we are the self we are the soul consciousness we are not this materialistic body my dear friends we need to understand this i am the atman i am the soul i am the soul consciousness so that is the fundamental principle of the first law of consciousness we need to understand i am the atman that is the first law my dear friends it means the many of the many of the lives many of the animal kingdom human kingdom plant kingdom the consciousness that is brahma padartha which is expressed in the all different forms if you observe in this world in this cosmos there are plant kingdom there are animals many of the animals in the different shapes there is elephant horse there is a lot of dog all the different different animals are available they are all on the physical form they are different but what is there inside of them that is consciousness the consciousness same the consciousness or the atma padartha or the brahma padartha it is same in everything but they are in different forms they are expressed in different forms let's say let's take an example if you take a statue a, a, a god statue if you take how the how it is made they take a raw stone a simple raw stone they take they need they keep on sculpt doing the sculpture on that they keep on you know removing forming the eyes forming the you know nose forming the mouth so like they give a shape slowly slowly they cut the, they cut the stone the raw stone and they made as a they made the statue it means you are still you know you are seeing the statue you are seeing the seeing the statue now but the uh, base for that the background of it how it has come it has come from the stone similarly if you see if you see a cinema for example a cinema is uh, in the cinema hall they uh, project this cinema onto the screen a, a black a just a empty empty screen when it is projected what happen you will get lot of characters the different heroes different uh, people they get they will be projected onto it as long as that is projected you will be only seeing all that uh, different people on the screen but what will happen once the, the cinema is uh, taken off then you will see only the black screen in fact we we feel that or we presume that the people who are going on the screen that looks real for us but that is not the truth that is not the reality that will be a just a temporary projection it comes and goes my dear friends it means what is actually the actual reality is actual truth is the screen is the truth the raw stone is the truth similarly for all of us for all the living beings what is the truth behind it brahma padartha chaitanya consciousness that is the truth so hence the all the living beings they are all made up of with the different bodies looks different even the animal kingdom if you come out of the animal animal kingdom in animal kingdom itself there are many many animals many different type of animals are there they are all the manifestation of the one and only the energy that is soul consciousness that is brahma padartha is expressed in the different forms my dear friends so hence we need to understand the consciousness is going to express in the different formats in the different forms try to understand this similarly when it comes to the human kingdom everybody looks different there are many many different bodies different shapes all this is they are different, all different people, looks different people so the reason for this also the same my dear friends so the same consciousness is expressed in the different forms so we need to understand the law of, law of consciousness says we are all atman the whole living beings in this cosmos in this world is the 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 basic the foundation the source for all these things is a consciousness soul consciousness all the atman we need to understand this my dear friends there is one word 
there is one statement sarvam kalidam brahma that means what sarvam kalidam brahma everywhere there is a brahma padartha aham brahmasmi it means i am the brahma padartha aham brahmasmi i am that i am that you are that tattvamasi svetaketu i am that consciousness i am that the brahma padartha so likewise so our great scriptures have clearly told about this atman in different different ways different formats my dear friends even in bhagavad gita many times sri lord krishna has taught to arjuna you are not that physical body you are the soul consciousness continue your war do the war against your relatives your cousins your gurus your grandfather you don't need to worry you are you are the you are not the body you are the soul consciousness they are also not the body they appear like a body the format of body they are there but in them what is eternal soul even if you are killing them you are not killing their body you are only killing their body you are not killing their soul why do you worry about it anyway if they die also they will go to the swarga loka even if you die you will go to swarga loka there is no lose there is no nothing you are losing here so the meaning of it is what is trying to say is o oh arjuna hey arjuna you are a, you are the soul you are not the physical body why you are worried why you are crying there is no question of lamenting on this continue your continue your war so by giving this sandesha sri krishna sandesha then arjuna got back to the war and he continued the war so everybody must realize this we are not we are the atma padartha i am that consciousness my dear friends every time we are repeating this we are repeating this because many a times everybody forget this we all forget this in our life we keep doing many things outside everywhere we see the the gross world the gross world solid world we, we all we have been seeing outside definitely we are misled or we are confused so hence how how this is possible the law of consciousness to understand this principle to get into practice one must practice the meditation you need to do more and more sadhana to come back to the law of consciousness and the understanding the law of consciousness my dear friends it is not easy <clears throat> just by reading books or just by listening to somebody understanding this principle one must do the practice of meditation more and more then you will be able to understand this law of consciousness on your own by your own self you can understand this my dear friends so let's go to the second principle my dear friends that is law of incarnation law of reincarnation it is punarjanma siddhanta so as i told you the soul take one birth and it spends all its uh, time here on this earth planet after that they, it will again die then you go back to the higher worlds once it once it goes to the higher worlds it it go back to the higher worlds and it stay for some time depends upon the punya karma what you have done here how much of the punya karma done here it go and spend in the other lokas the different world then after your punya karma is over that much time then go back to the causal world then again it come back to the astral world take the body and then come back to the physical physical earth that means come back to the physical world my dear friends so this is the way this birth and birth and death is certain you need to understand there is no escape nobody will nobody will go out of this until unless you become enlightened until you get samadhi sthiti until you become buddha you keep coming back and going coming up going back and coming back so this is common this is this is certain when this is certain why do you worry about it as i said in the last class 
there is no hurry my dear friends no hurry we are we don't need any hurry here whatever you are doing do it with great joy be happy joyful blissful lead your life do all the positive karmas there suddenly there is a reincarnation because of our past karmas because of our current current life whatever the karmas we do here we will go back and then again we will come back my dear friends so this reincarnation reincarnation is a certain principle is a punarjanma siddhanta punarapi maranam punarapi jananam as per adi shankaracharya if you try to understand even bhagavad gita this is, is a great instance arjuna sri krishna says i have taken many births you have taken many births but i i know your births i know my births but you don't know about your births arjuna yogi bhava arjuna you become yogi you will also understand generally you understand the reincarnation reincarnation is certain you don't need to worry there is no urgency in the life everything happens you need to keep doing certain good things right things all these things we must do my dear friends all the even if you take moon sun stars everything my dear friends everywhere there is a death and birth even for everything in this whole cosmos there is a birth and death there is a birth and death for everything everything keep changing the consciousness keep changing the consciousness is permanent the consciousness is always there eternally existing but the substance which goes and come back once a person die it gets merged with the pachaputas what it is going away the going away is the soul consciousness my dear friends when you have this understanding clearly with you definitely your performance and your life you never fall into any diseases you will be always happy you since you understood the the certain principle of the certainty of reincarnation everybody must come back this is what the law of reincarnation my dear friends every life whatever the life you take here you will try to excel in that if somebody became a cricketer somebody became a artist somebody became a painter every life is a game everybody takes different different lives my dear friends in the human being as a, in, the, in the human human being form if you observe every life you take the different challenges somebody by birth they become blind still they excel in their life it's possible very much possible but if you understand this reincarnation life the law of reincarnation through your sadhana through, through your conscious practice of meditation what will happen you will be a, the great you will be you will be great in all the things whatever you do in the life that becomes great success happiness peace of mind patience everything will achieve the reason being with your own practice you understood there is no question of suffering or there is no question of thinking about birth and death both are same for us as i told in the last classes also if somebody is passing away no need to worry anyway you will come back you will go to the other world spend some time and again you make a blueprint ready design ready with him then you will again come back and again start doing some karmas he will be very much aware of the blueprint of the design what he brings to the earth planet my dear friends until 3 to 5 years he remember very well after that he forget it and then he mislead into the different way of life he'll go to the different track of life 
then he keeps spending the whole life on certain things he become something and then he keep doing then he pass away from this life also so likewise there are many many lives many many lives are there there are an average 3 to 500 lives 3 to 400 lives we take to get the salvation to get the moksha in empire in we have four qualities i explained last time also tamo rajoguna satvika guna shuddha satvika guna in empire guna we keep spending we keep doing taking at least minimum 100 100 lives each for each for each quality to excel my dear friends we try to take each 100 birds each each quality with each guna that's what happens in every life we have some tamaguna some quality will increase in tamaguna also so the person who take we have tamaguna what will happen he is so lazy lethargic he is always focusing on materialistic things more of materialistic things he himself and family and food sex reproduction he only focus on that he doesn't have any other qualities he doesn't work on the consciousness the improvement of his own conscious his own soul soul consciousness my dear friends so likewise friends we need to understand the real cause the real cause is reincarnation is must it is certain okay so let's go to the law of karma that is third principle the third principle of spiritual science the law of karma is also called law of cause of effect, cause and effect the cause and effect if there is a cause there is a effect my dear friends if there is a cause in the previous life also the effect may be here you may be observing or you may be experience that effect now so try to understand there is a cause and effect this is called karmic cycle i i explained in the last class also the law of karma right the law of karma is very much clear it is applicable for every soul we must be very careful while doing while doing karma as my dear friends if you do any karma the result will be there that's what i told there is a action and equal and opposite reaction hence our deeds our talking our thinking everything must be correct when you will achieve that when you become a good meditator a good practitioner of meditation then you will get all that uh, trikarana suddhi when you when you get a trikarana suddhi that means manasa vacha karmana when you do everything when you are able to do everything all right everything correctly then you will excel in everything all your deeds will be correct all your karmas will be great positive or miraculous karmas then your results also will be positive or miraculous my dear friends and i said in the previous class if you want to come out of this karmic cycle you need to follow one thing called niskama karma in bhagavad gita says do your duty do not expect the result that was the, that is that was the niskama karma i explained in detail in the previous class the so friends we need to understand the law of karma is very much very much applicable we need to be careful all the times in this lifetime you are getting awareness through meditation you are doing meditation sadhana practice what happens because you are your self awareness is increasing so when self awareness is increasing then be so conscious so aware of what, what exactly the your own karmas what exactly karmas you are accomplishing on a day, day to day basis be aware of them do not att- attempt to do any karma whatever it comes across to you that leads to the effect the karmic karmic effect the karmic bondage karmic debt my dear friends all that you must experience in this life or next life or maybe ne- next 10 lives also unless you pay back you can't escape of course once you become a yogi a enlightened soul enlightened master once you get samadhi sthiti you are beyond this karmic cycle my dear friends 
for which you have to put lot of practice in this life itself or next many lives also. You have to be, you have to put continuous practice of the sadhana meditation. Then only you will go out of this karma cycle. You become a brahma brahma gnani. You get lot of gnana, wisdom. Pragnanam brahma. Once you get that gnana, that is truth. Once you get it, you become the brahman. Pragnanam brahma. Gnana mukti hi. Bhagavad Gita says, Nana Mukti. Once you that once you get that Nana, Nana wisdom. Nana means it's not the knowledge, it's not the information, information to the books, my dear friends. Nana means your real experiences, your real sadhana experience, meditational experience, soul experience. Once you get that, that is called real. Wisdom. That's all. That's called nana. That's called pragna. Once you get pragna, you also get karuna, my dear friends. Yogi Baba Arjuna. That is the actual meaning of Krishna is telling Arjuna, you become a yogi, then everything will be great. All your karmas will be great. Karma su kausalya. Yoga ha karma su kausalya. Whatever you do the work, whatever you talk, whatever you think, all that will be great, my dear friends. Once you become a master, master of your life, master of yourself. This is what the meaning of the law of karma, my dear friends. We need to be very conscious while doing this. So the fourth, fourth principle is, my dear friends, we need to understand the law of constant progression. Purogamana Siddhanta. Now we discussed Atma Siddhanta, Punarjanma Siddhanta, then we discussed Karma Siddhanta. Now this fourth one is Purogamana Siddhanta, law of constant, law of constant progression. What is law of constant progression? It talks about every life is a progression for you. There is no regression, my dear friends. We never, we never feel, we never feel that. We are, we are getting failed. Let's take a student who writes the exam. He gets the marks lesser than what he expects. He gets failed, for example, in the examination. He, he doesn't need to feel about it. It's a one stage, one stage he reached. The next time if I attempt, he will, he will increase from that. Instead of, instead of not attempting, he it, it attempted it. He got some results. The less results, maybe. But he'll understand why he failed. What is the reason for, for his failure? Where did the failure happen? Everything, if you analyze, then the next exam, the next time he's writing the exam, he'll be improved much. That is called constant progression, my dear friends. There should be a constant progression. There is no question of regression. Try to understand this. No question of regression at all. There is no regression. There is no regression possible in this entire universe, my dear friends. Always there is a progression. Keep remembering this. Even in your physical life, your own life also, whatever happens to you, you have to surrender to the nature. Surrender, the act of surrenderance, the process of surrenderance is very simple. You need to trust your self. You need to trust your own soul. Trust itself. Believe in itself. Then keep moving it. Keep moving in your life. Sometimes goods happen. Sometimes bad happens. Sometimes great things comes, comes across. The great success comes sometimes. Suddenly some, sometimes we will fall down. Still try to understand there is only a progression. There is no question of regression. Never get disappointed. Never go into the depression because of the bad results, because of the negative results. You don't need to worry about it. You keep learning something from every, every failure, every success, every downgrade, every downfall. You will try to take 
the great learning you will experience it with that you keep moving forward my dear friends in a similar manner every life for us brings the progression rather than the regression my dear friends you take a birth of a blind as a blind man because of your own karmas suppose you born as a blind person in the whole life uh, being a blind person you know how to learn you know how to talk you know how to do your own things you know you will come to know how to achieve something even you are a blind person you are how to achieve the things in the life physical life you will be able to understand yourself you are able to experience everything at all the stages my dear friends what does it mean even that is a progression for him we feel pity of them we never need to pity uh, feel pity on anybody my dear friends it is not the correct correct way of treating other person everybody they came here onto this earth planet with their own karmas the baggage of karmas sanjita karmas they they create their own life with their own mind from the other worlds my dear friend from the causal worlds they create their own life with their own past karmas with their own calculations they choose the life and come back to the earth planet again to experience those baggage of karmas in that case why do you feel, feel pity on the other person you don't need to comment on the other person at all every every one's life journey is different there is no question of similarity they are all dissimilar even then they are beautiful they are great in their own path let's say we all together go to a picnic what will happen in the picnic we only focus on doing something seeing sight seeing visiting some different different places enjoying the nature we only focus on that we never focus one up another how are you how are you looking what is your life it's not great judging others commenting others we never do that my dear friends the picnic we all enjoy beautifully and the great joyful we all get the get from that picnic it means focus on only the journey the same thing holds good for our own lives my dear friends many of the people they keep worrying on other people they keep judging commenting complaining so many so many so many things happen they are all happening in our lives in fact that is not the truth that is not the way of life what do you worry on all these things everybody they are they have their own journey of life you don't know why they are born here you don't know even he doesn't know both don't know about their own lives because they never they never introspected they were they never had a soul experience the inner experience once you get realized your own third eye activation your own astral body release will teach you why you took birth here what is the purpose you came here what is the blueprint you brought here what purpose you came here what purpose you are going to accomplish are you doing it are you on the track everything you will come you will understand yourself my dear friends so hence we need to have always sadhana with us practice by self more and more practice gives us all the clarity the complete understanding about the life your own life you will able to get it hence we need to understand the law of constant progression says every every one's life every body's life whatever the life it may be whatever the kind of life whatever the quality of life whatever the incidents in the life is keep happening for one person it always brings a progression instead of the regression my dear friends so be happy be joyful keep going in the keep moving in the life never regret for anything in the life everything gives an experience brings an a great marvelous experience which will add which will add to your life which will increase the quality of life which will increase the arishat vargas inside you every life you try to learn how to win over all the sari arishat vargas kama krodha loba modha moha moda vacharya greediness desire angry 
Likewise, all these qualities are there. Attachments. So all these, all six Arishad Vargas, if you keep improving in everybody, in every, every life, you will be keep, keep progressing on all these qualities, my dear friends. That's a great achievement. So friends, let us go to the next principle of spiritual science, that is law of rapid progression. This is a, the great, uh, great law of, law of spiritual science. Law of the rapid progression. Yoga Siddhanta. We learn Purogamana Siddhanta. Now we are coming to the Yoga Siddhanta. That is law of rapid progression. How do you rapid this progression? As I explained you right now, the constant progression. But you want to rapid. That means you want to make speed, speed of progression. How do you make speed of progression? Let's take some chemical reactions, my dear friends. When the chemical reactions are happening, the, when the two chemicals are added, what happens is, to get the reaction, it may take 100 days or 300 days. Once you mix two chemicals and keep it in one, the experimental vessel, then what will happen is, the reaction to have takes place in between the two chemicals itself will take 100, year, 100 days or 300 days. We don't know. Depend on the speed, depends upon the speed of reaction, it takes its own time. But if you add the catalyst inside it, catalyst means everybody will know it. When the two, chem two chemicals are added, elements are added, you are adding the third element, which will increase the speed of reaction between the two elements, two chemical elements, then the result is faster in, in two days, three days itself. So the same similar manner to increase the progression, the constant progression, what is there to, to make it as a rapid progression. What one must do is you must add yoga to your life. That means meditation, your meditation to your life, my dear friends. If you add this meditation to your life, what happened? You'll be progressing faster. Let's say you get into the failure in any one of the, your real life, your real life profession or your, your subject, you are, you are a student or you are a business person. You are the professional, professional person, but you got into failure. What happened? Once you got into the failure, you can't recover from that. You are mentally disturbed because of the failure, because of the, the huge suffering, mental suffering, financial loss. Many of the things happen once somebody failed in any one thing. It might be a good try, but still there is a end result is negative. What happens? We'll get into problems. So, if a person is a, a, a common person, a layman for the spirituality, what he, what he does, he takes that is into serious mode, he becomes serious, and then his whole life will become a seriousness, and then he gets into all the mental, physical, all the problems, all the diseases will come to him. Then he will be spoiling his, his own life, my dear friends. In fact, the same person, has this meditation or a sadhana or yoga with him. The way he react to the things, the way he try to balance himself, that will be a greater aspect. He gets lot of the patience inside, the lot of the kind of a equilibrium state in, in him. He try understanding the success and failure. He take everything in equal manner. That's the character of a an enlightened person. You live in the equilibrium state all the time. It can be a great failure, great success, doesn't matter for him. Everything is same. Everything is a Brahma Padartha. Why do you worry about it? So that is the reason, my dear friends. If you if you have this meditation or the yoga or the practice with you, whatever happens in your life, there is no question of regression and you will have the past progression. The rapid progression will happen in a life to life, life after life. The progression will be very faster. So try to understand this. And the, law, the last and final, the sixth principle of spiritual science, that is law of infinity. Try to understand law of infinity. Friends, what is the, what, what is the definition of this infinity? We have infinite possibilities in this world. You want to become a politician, you want to become a great artist, 
great musician great singer cricketer so everything i got the highest number of possibilities the infinite number of possibilities we all have in this worldly life my dear friends you can become anything you want to become a singer start learning from sari gama pada nisa from beginning keep learning keep learning the formation of sentence singing slowly slowly approach the guru learn with him then slowly become a singer the great singer also you will become obviously one must learn from the guru then obviously you will become a great singer great musician great cricketer cricket or everything so that means there are infinite possibilities like this if you keep talking everyone can do different different things in his his own life similarly there are many many lokas in this cosmos my dear friends the creation is having so many lokas bhu loka bhu loka swar loka jan loka maha loka tapo loka satya loka so many lokas are there so many worlds are there the worlds are infinite the high frequency worlds are infinite in number depends upon your own practice your own life the sadhana what you take care of in this life you do the that such kind of karmas then you get the eligibility to go to the a particular loka after the death of this particular life once he dies he go he reach to the other loka all depends upon his own karmas his own evolution soul evolution on this earth planet my dear friends so that means there are many lokas many worlds are there ananta lokas infinite lokas there are stars there are galaxies there are planets there are so many so many things my dear friends this universe itself is so infinite so infinite lokas are there infinite worlds are there so we will be taking birth in different planets different uh, star under different galaxies we keep taking birth my dear friends the soul will never die the soul cannot be wet the soul cannot be born the soul the soul cannot be destroyed the soul energy cannot be burned with the fire it is out of everything this is beyond everything beyond all the panchabhutas the soul consciousness my dear friends so this is called law of infinity friends so we understood this we have discussed about all the six principles now so let's go to the meditation we start the meditation already we are late so this is also a big subject almost six principles of spiritual science these are wonderful principles one must remember one must repeatedly repeatedly you need to learn about all these six principles okay so let's go to the meditation so who are has already know the meditation keep practicing go into the meditation switch off your lights switch off the mind cross your fingers cross your legs sit comfortably sit comfortably relax be in a relaxed mode there is no tension required no strain no stress in the body all the parts have to be relaxed sit in a relaxed mode take the support of wall take the support of a chair rest back if you need be comfortable in your own sitting my dear friends keep observing your natural breath natural flowing of your breath natural flow of breath to keep observing keep observing we are going to do meditation about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes be with the breath do not think anything if you get any thoughts into your mind if you are getting any thoughts cut the thoughts right away come back to the breath again be with your breath all your thoughts will become empty there no need to think no need to think about anything in your life my dear friends you are in deep meditation do not think about anything however important it is for you 
no family, no friends, no business, no profession. Forget about everything. You forget everything around you. You are alone. You came to this world alone. You are going back alone. This is a fact. This is a truth. Why do you worry about others? Focus on your breath. Focus all your energies on the breath observation. Breath will connect to yourself, yourself and your body. Both are interconnected through the breath. Hence you be with the breath to reach to your soul. To reconnect to the your inner self. Breath is the medium. Observe your breath, natural breath. Your life starts with the breath. Your life ends with the breath. It's so vital in your life. Everybody will leave you in this world. Everybody will leave you. Father, mother, children. Nobody will stay with you permanently. But your only breath will stay from birth to death in your life. It is so important to observe your own breath on a daily basis. That is called meditation, dhyana, sadhana. Jnana Dinda Jnana, Jnana Dinda Mukti. Jnana Mukti Hi. Jnana Dada Karma Hi. Swasada Mele Gamana. Swasamida Dhyasa.
last two minutes last two minutes of meditation Last one minute, final one minute. Final 30 seconds, last 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Final 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Place both your hands on your eyes for 5 more seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Slowly remove your hands, slowly open your eyes. Yes, friends. So, we have done a wonderful meditation and our topic is also a lengthy topic today. The loss of uh, six principles of uh, spiritual science. Okay. So, we have learned about it and I would like to give you the what holistic lifestyle tip also. The today's uh, holistic life, lifestyle tip that is about sugar. So, friends, we eat uh, the sugar, the sugar which is pro produced from the sugar cane. It's a sugar or a sugar, sugar bella. That means, that means a jaggery, sugar jaggery also. Sugar cane jaggery, sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar, what it comes. Both are not good. Okay. So the reason being, so if you eat sugar or if you eat anything related to sweets or, you know, you drink coffee, milk, whatever, with a sugar, it's a containing sugar. What happens is it produces the direct glucose into your blood, my dear friends. So that's a, that's very bad. So what happens is, in a day, a human being, a, a human body requires about 35 to 40 grams of sugar. Okay. It means almost like we have about 5 to 6 liters of blood inside us. So, every 1 liter of blood, it needs about 1 gram minimum. So, at all the times, it should be 1 gram. For all our functionalities, for all our functionalities inside of all our organs, 35 to 40 grams is required per day. 
So what happens is when you eat sugar or a sweet or whatever it may be, so it rushes about 150 grams of uh, sugar into your blood. So there's no question of digestion of this. So what happens is anything you digest, a food you digest on a daily basis, it produces at the end of the digestion, what you get is called glucose. Okay, the, at the end of the digestion process, what it is called as glucose, the glucose is the energy which is useful for all the organ functioning in your body, for talking, walking, thinking, and even all the organs inside the body also functions based on using this uh, glucose energy. Okay, but it should be a limited quantity. It should be a, the quantity which is required. Okay, but when you eat the sugar, what happens? It suddenly rises jumps this uh, glucose, the amount of glucose inside the uh, body. And what happens is it goes to the blood, then it uh, start coating in the blood vessels, it start coating in the different, different parts of the body because the liver and pancreas, so they get a lot of uh, overload because of this excess amount of glucose available in the body. So what happens is if you walk 15 minutes, you can con you can consume or you can uh, you know melt i can say you can consume right about 1 gram of glucose my dear friends that means if you want to consume uh, yeah, about 150 grams of uh, sugar glucose into your body so you have to walk for 30 hours it's impossible for anybody right so that is the reason so whatever the food you take it should be you should be conscious about it the sugar will rise the glucose tremendously so never take the sugar Okay, in the play, the alternative of sugar is that is uh, what we can use is tartibella. That means palm jaggery. Palm jaggery is there, tartibella. So try to use that. So that has only fructose. It doesn't have glucose, my dear friends. So it is very useful and also it doesn't rise the uh, your glucose suddenly. And it, it is going to require you slow glucose, the slow amount of glucose, right? So when you get higher amount of glucose into your body, so as I told you, slowly what happens, the liver and the pancreas will, will be always in the work of converting this excess glucose into the fat, into the triglycerides and many, many other ways. So you try to keep uh, keeping the fat inside your body. That, that's what the reason for obesity nowadays. So every, even the kids, even the youngsters are getting type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, type 2 diabetes. So type 1, type 2 diabetes and BP, that is a blood pressure and the heart attacks, many things, heart blocks, everything happens because of this blockage of vessels, because of the excessive glucose stored inside the vessels and all the parts of the body go and accumulate. So you become obese, you become uh, obese and weight, they become, you, you get more weightage, okay? So all these problems are there. So to avoid this, go with the alternate solution that is palm jaggery, friends. So this is what the holistic life will tip today. So I think we are already 10, 15 today, right? So you would like to share the experience, please share it and then we'll be ending the session. Yes, Bharati Madam. Hello, good evening, sir. Namaskar. Ah, namaskar, Namaskar. Yes, Namaskar. Today I did nano uh, with meditation uh, start out with the munche one one twenty thirty minutes mar de. Oh, okay. Tumba chana gan. Okay. Okay. Adhi salpa andre continuous anistana ne ki baat. Matl maadi to matig maadi to sir connect a dangai. Practice, mm -hmm. practice other than mm -hmm. day. Time, day time, free or Even 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes, 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 and you get the lot of cosmic energy, everything will happen. All whatever we discussed so far in the spiritual science, everything will happen. Okay. So that's a great thing. We must continue for more time. The practice must be for more time, always. Okay. The perfection act back and just the practice model. Just the model. Model. You can now suppose a cricket play Marti, cricket now learn Marti and re, cricket early now as to Sadhana Marti, as to now perfection act today. So, our state player, international player, everything will become. So, the same way. Yes. yes, definitely, definitely. So, that's what we need to do. But one thing is meditation practice 
is is going to give you the perfection in the life itself the cricket practice make you perfect in the cricket so once they come out of that cricket play what happen they are, they don't have that capability to understand the life if they get depression if they get some kind of any kind of health problem any kind of other issue comes across in their life they become again depressed they go into the uh, they go into the they get downgraded actually the reason for that is they don't have skills to understand they don't have the life science behind with them the life science is jivan shastra that is adhyatmik shastra spiritual science is the one spirituality is the root physicality is the fruit we have to understand this okay so that is the reason we must have spiritual science or adhyatmika shastra always with us so it's a bible for us is a bhagavad gita for us so one must practice one must read the books one must do the satsanga all the time these three must continue in our life thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you so ashok sir ashok babu sir good evening sir good evening good evening yes uh, sir it was uh, wonderful sir today Yes. Today, even morning also, I was attended, and now also attended. Very but nice, uh, nice. it was for um, me myself, sir. I am uh, controlling myself. Yes. So I am um, coping up slowly. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It will improve. Coping day by up day. with the meditation, sir. Yes. Forty, forty-one days. Yes, sir. Must yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it is something yes, called unmatched. Yeah, whenever challenge. I, whenever I get time. Yes. Yes, sir. Whenever I get time. I yeah. used to practice at a minimum at least of 5 minutes yeah uh, right. or 10 minutes right, uh, right. like that i am uh, adapting sir clearly sir yes sir so it is called anuman chalisa that is 41 days we say 40 uh. days 40 days is anuman chalisa even you take uh. ayappu ayappu mala they used to take no so they also uh, practice sir. for 40 days so to bring perfection in meditation we also suggest you not to break uh. one day also minimum yes, your sir. age for example you are 40 years 40 yes, minutes sir. in one day you must do meditation that is to 40 days if you continue then you will be you will really see the the experience of the meditation yes sir yes sir ha 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 sir you can test it very well okay sir okay sir okay i'll so, follow you yes, yes sir. sir thank you thank you so okay, sir well thank you thank you friends thanks yes. for joining this session Thank so, you sir. Namaste to all. We will be joining tomorrow. We will be meeting. Thank you.